hey guys welcome to today's tutorial so if you're new to this channel please click on the subscribe button okay today i'm going to be running you through a few simple steps on how you can use your obs studio to premiere your movies to premiere your skits to premiere comedy skits your tutorials or pre-recorded tutorials to stream them on youtube okay so you can do that on other platforms you can stream them on other platform but today's tutorial is going to be based on youtube so I'm going to walk you through step by step on how you can achieve this. Okay, I'm going to be working on my PC. I have my OBS tutorial studio OBS studio ready. If you not, if you don't know how to use the basics of OBS, please I'm going to drop a link in the description section where you can go through it. Let's go. So first I have my OBS studio set up here, it's ready, and I have my YouTube account here also ready so i'm going to first of all link my youtube account to my obs studios and basically position it for premium right let me show how you can do this you come to your youtube your obs account or studios you go to setting okay here we have our studio we have there are so many different features here but today i'm not going to be talking about any of these features apart from streaming your two your youtube videos or pre-recorded tutorials or programs even if it's church related programs religious related programs premiering your movies okay this is where we're going to go stream okay streaming now you go to the service which one you're using we're using youtube for the sake of this tutorial there's facebook live there's twitch there's twitter but we're using youtube today now it says connect account okay or you use stream key I'm going to be connecting my account. You were here, just leave it at primary uh, YouTube in just server. Then I'm going to go, thank you. Now I'm going to choose the particular account I want this to be connected to my YouTube account. Now it says, when OBS wants to access your YouTube account, so I'm going to click on continue. After doing this, I'm going to head on to my OBS channel, OBS studio, okay? Now, automatically, my, my channel is here. Okay, it's quite simple. This is step one that you need to do, and I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. All right, now my YouTube channel and my OBS channel, they are now linked together. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. Okay, basically, your chat is ready. Your YouTube chat is ready. I'm just trying to work my way around it, and this is where I can easily see my YouTube chat, um, YouTube channel combination so i'm going to go ahead this is step two i'm going to go ahead and start setting up my broadcast so i'm going to click on manage broadcast okay click on manage broadcast here yeah? what are you broadcasting to sorry before we do that let me just go ahead and add my source the video i'm going to be african tales okay down to this particular part which I'm going to be broadcasting. So I'm going to go ahead into my documents and my, my folders and look for the play I'm going to be premiering today. Let me go for something that okay, actually let me use this. It's more like an example. Okay. You can leave the loop because you don't want your video to be looping left and back and forth, right? Now you can go for restart bar, which enables your video after playing, it can easily restart again, right? then let's leave this over here and we can just go ahead and click on okay you can also increase the speed if you want but i prefer to leave this the way it is because it looks really really stable like what i would like to have okay go ahead and click on okay here you have your 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 your, your premiere video is ready but i need to manage my broadcast okay i need to put up a banner or probably thumbnail over here you click on manage broadcast you set up your broadcast name as the warrior warrior of any kingdom which is what i'm which is the story i'm actually preparing today you can add description if you want okay but you must make sure it's public but if you're not listening it yet you probably you're putting a schedule for probably two or three days listing you can click 
unlisted or private, right? But I'm going to go for public, which category does it fall under? So that films and animation are probably, um, if it's easy for kids or not, you can, I'll probably, I'm clicking on no kids. Just go ahead and do the setup here. Then thumbnail, let me go ahead and click the thumbnail from the video section. Okay, for thumbnail, let me just go ahead and take the thumbnail from the video video category of the document folder because I already have a thumbnail there. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick the thumbnail from there. Click and this is it. Okay, now I have my thumbnail here. Let me just go ahead to my YouTube channel and show you how the thumbnail looks like on the channel. Okay, now this is my African Tales channel studio. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click on contents. This is where you have your live video. Um, okay, now I have my contents here. So I have other videos on my regular video list. But I'm going to go ahead and click on live because that is where I'm working from. The live streaming section. Okay, over here at the live streaming section. Now my video is not up yet because I've not approved streaming yet. Okay, now I'm going to go to this my streaming here. My new streaming start recording and i'm going to click on create broadcast okay the moment you create broadcast here it will come up on the youtube channel immediately so i'm going to hold on for that to load and then you're going to see what i'm talking about on my think my youtube channel is showing over here everything i'm working on is showing over here now the broadcast is out you can see it's here the warrior opening okay maybe probably it's taking a little bit okay it's here already okay it has come out it's it's out on my youtube channel now but i've not started broadcasting yet so you click on this broadcast sign here so that you can have a full view of what your broadcast is going to be like as you can see every setup is ready if you wish you can edit your setup here if you wish okay you can edit it you can copy your your pin your key here and go and paste on your OBS studio and whichever one it is now it's coming up my network is a bit slow so the the, the network is really really giving me help now once I'm done setting up this this is where I can control my chats with my my subscribers okay anybody that chats me up why the life is still on I can easily see them here and reply okay this is where my studio is okay i'm out of the youtube channel this is my obs studio basically everything is here so you can now go ahead and click on stream and then you cannot click on play you you control every single broadcast in this particular section as relates to the youtube channel there you have it. Pretty cool, isn't it? So most times when you go online and you see movie channels, primarily their, their movies, this is basically one of the tools they use. Most people prefer using a different tool, but this particular one is what I use now. It's a cool way to premiere your, your I don't know if it to be a network issue. It's a cool way to premiere your movies, your contents online, while having your viewers or your subscribers right there interacting with that particular content while it's been premiered okay it's really really cool okay i think you should start using it whenever you're pushing out the content there or if you're doing a live pre-recorded live stream that you would like to get people's view while they are online okay it's quite easy and it's a good way to get views and also get uh, subscribers please if you're new to this channel click on the subscribe button and if this is helpful to you drop a comment on the comment section let's see how far we can work together okay thank you